Well, it's looking like the battle over partisan gerrymandering, in fact, is not over. Two weeks ago, as you might recall, the U.S. Supreme Court decided it would not be getting involved in gerrymandering, but now the state Supreme Court is, and it's set to hear the case Monday. Bill O'Neill is in Greensboro this evening with the latest developments, including where things stand heading into the weekend. Republican leaders called on the plaintiffs of this case, which includes the Democratic Party, to give up their challenge in light of that recent Supreme Court ruling. That hasn't happened, and come Monday, partisan gerrymandering goes back on trial. The trial could change North Carolina politics for years to come on key issues ranging from abortion to taxes. Democrats need to win a total of 10 seats, five in the House and five in the Senate, to take back control of the General Assembly. Do you think this gives you any upper hand in that state suit? I think it probably does. Guilford County Republican John Hardister says the recent Supreme Court ruling gives his party an edge. I think we all understand that the party in power is going to draw districts the way they want to. It's always been that way. It's something that it's, it is hard to resolve. We still feel like this is an excellent opportunity and we have an excellent case for the state court, ultimately the state Supreme Court, to rule in our favor. Bob Phillips, head of Common Cause North Carolina, says this partisan gerrymandering case is different from the one heard by the U.S. Supreme Court. He says this one's based on the North Carolina Constitution, not the U.S. Constitution. We look at what the state constitution is and we see that there are some folks, legal minds, who say that our state constitution even speaks stronger to such things as equal protection. While the Supreme Court ruled federal courts are not the place to decide partisan gerrymandering disputes, Chief Justice John Rock provisions in state statutes and state constitutions can provide standards and guidance for state courts to apply. This case goes before a three-judge panel in Wake County Superior Court on Monday. Both sides expect the loser to appeal the decision before the North Carolina Supreme Court. Trial expected to last about two weeks. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.